My name is Talia Borofsky. I'm a junior in the class of 2018. And this summer, I studied honeybees. My project was titled, How Networks of Dancing and Headbutting Bees Decide Where to Feed, and the Surprising Applications and Connections to Theoretical Neuroscience. My mentors were Professor Christopher Mayak of the Biology Department and Professor Victor Baranka of the, of the Math Department. Um, the, I studied how bees react to changes in uh, food availability outside. I trained them to a feeder and the feeder had really high concentration of sucrose and in my control experiment I kept that sucrose concentration constant and in my experimental trial I changed the sucrose solution by very steeply decreasing it to the bottom of the range of what bees will forage for. I was expecting to see that visitations by bees would go down because through their networks of interactions via what's called the stop signal and the waggle dance, recruitment would stop. And the stop signal, by the way, is when a bee butts into a bee that's doing a recruitment dance and decreases the likelihood that the bee will continue recruiting. Um, I, fo I found, however, that bees visited the experimental feeder more. Who would have thought? So. What I thought about it was that at the time of the experiments, there was a dearth of flowers on campus. Maybe they were so hungry that they were trying to use up the solution while it was still available. This isn't a very complete explanation because at the same time, recruitment to the constant feeder went down after. It was very weird. And what I learned was that animals are really weird and leading a project is really hard. So I learned how to constantly just roll with the punches, how to simplify and streamline the experiment, and how to listen from feedback from others. It was an extremely valuable experience. Uh, I'm super glad it happened. And I really want to thank the Panafil Foundation for funding this and making it happen. Thank you.